How's it going guys? Right, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a, uh, a warm up. And the first thing we're going to do in the warm up is a bit of mobility. And then we're going to go into uh, some activation. Right, so what you need for your activation is your big red band. And for the warm up and the mobility part of the warm up, maybe just a pillow. Alright, so two exercises that we're going to do for the mobility part. The world's greatest stretch and your hamstring to hip flexor. So, world's greatest stretch. Two hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna throw your left foot up to your left hand. We're gonna do three rounds of this. But I want you to lift your back leg off the ground, and then from there, elbow goes down, and then rotate up. Nice and slow and easy, all right? Rotate all the way around. Don't have to go fast. Just trying to open up your hips. So this will be hitting your hamstrings, glutes, hip flexors, uh, chest, shoulder stability, change over. Bit of T-spine mobility. Hence why they call it the world's greatest stretch. It's nice and easy with this one. Two, one, and rest. Okay, good. Now, grab your pillows. Throw it down onto the ground and you're gonna place your left knee down onto that. From there, you want a straight line from your knee, your hip, all the way up to your shoulders, and then the opposite leg is gonna be slid forward. Okay, so slightly more than it usually is. From there, what I want you to do is hinge back, so let your bum go back to your heel, but your foot stays in the same position. You're gonna get a massive stretch in your hamstring. From there, you're gonna push your hips forward and hands go overhead. Okay, so you're gonna uh, stretch in your hip flexor now. now See the difference between doing it like this and then pushing your hip forward and leaning forward, all right? Not really using your hip flexors as much. I want you to keep a straight line, push through your hips, but it should be a straight line um, from your shoulder all the way down to your knee, all right? And we're just gonna rock in between both hamstring on my right leg, hip flexor on my left leg. Hamstring, hip flexor, nice and easy. And change over, right knee down now, left leg forward, and from there, hinge back, hold that stretch for a couple of seconds, drive the hip forward, hands go overhead, you're getting a nice shoulder mobility as well, I'm gonna hit everywhere with these two exercises. Nice and easy, ideally when you're doing your mobility, your aim or your goal to be to get a little bit further each time. So you're trying to improve that range of motion, flexibility. Two, one. Okay, we're gonna go into our second round again. So, world's greatest stretch. Now this time, go a little bit deeper. So elbow down, rotate up, and a little bit faster. So again, closer to the ground now. A little bit underneath my heel, or not my heel, my ankle. Two, one, and change over. Back knee off the ground. From there, elbow down. Rotate up. Just make sure that back knee stays off the ground. Two, one. Okay, left knee down. Push your hips forward, feel that stretch in your hip flexor. Hinge back, big stretch on your hamstring, okay? Now you can put your hands over your head if you want, to stretch out your shoulders, or you can focus on that movement in your hips. So pushing your hips forward, big stretch right in front of my pelvis there. Two, one, right knee down or left knee, whatever you're using. Hinge back, stretch that hamstring, the opposite leg, and then hips forward. Ideally, when you're doing your hip flexor stretch and you're pushing through, you want to squeeze that bum cheek. So if it's my right knee down, I want to be squeezing that right bum cheek and getting that stretch on the front of my hip. Good, okay, we're gonna go one more round now. Into our world's greatest, this time, 
We're gonna go nice and fast so that can get nice and low. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Elbow down, rotate up. There will be a big difference between the first round and this round. Starting to loosen up now. Think of doing these stretches for your hips as putting the WD-40 onto your bike chain. So loosening out your whole body, change over. Definitely feel a difference, I can see a difference in me. Put my range of motion out, nearly get the elbow to the ground. Two, one, hamstring to hip flexor. Hands back, forward, back. Three, two, one, opposite side, last one. Hands back, forward, forward. A little bit tight in my hamstrings. Three, two, one. Okay, onto our activation now. So what we need is that big red band. And the first thing we're gonna do is squat to stand up. Okay, so leave that band to the side for the time being. We're gonna touch our toes. We'll start with our hands overhead first. So that's gonna be number one. Touch your toes is two. Put yourself down. It's three, fall forward. Walk your hands all the way out. Four, walk them back in. Five, hands overhead, six. Same again, six points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Last one, if we're a hand. Do, three, catter, kuig, and shay. That's my good Irish there, please. And then we're gonna go into our X-band walk. So, a little uh, change of this. We wanna work our shoulder stability as well. So, step into the band. You wanna grab a decent amount, so there's gonna be a lot of slack out of it, so nice and loose at the top. And then from there, I want you to press overhead, push your head through, and then we're just gonna walk side to side. Okay, so activating our glutes. And then obviously working our shoulder stability. Working on all them stabilizers in your rotator cuff, posterior delts, all stabilizing my shoulders. Two, one, and rest. Good. Last one, what we're gonna do is still warm for our glutes, shoulders, but our core now as well. Okay, so onto the ground, elbow down. We're gonna go into a side plank roll. Okay, so we just want you to lift your hips up, straight line from your head hips and feet, and we're just gonna alternate sides. Roll and hold, roll and hold. Nice and easy. Keep changing sides, hold for a couple of seconds. Two, one, good. Hey, back up onto your feet. Hands overhead. Touch your toes, pull yourself into a squat, fall forward, shoulder stability, walk your hands back in, stand back up, hands overhead, good, and again. One, two, three, four, five, and six, last one. One, two, three, four, Five, six, good. Expand walks. Stand into it. Cross the band over. Press overhead. And side to side. Three, four. Five, good. Okay, last one. Onto our side plank. Elbow down. And then we're going to our strength block after. Hips high, hands up, and hold. Rotate, hold, rotate, hold, 
L takes and hold. Two more. And last one. And hold. Good. We're going to go straight into our mystery challenge. Oh, okay. So, three exercises we're going to do is squat, push up, and a straight leg sit up. Okay. So, legs, upper body, and core. We're going to go for 20 reps on your squat, 10 reps on your push up, and five reps on your straight leg sit up. So, squats. First thing you need to do is grab something that you can elevate your heels. So, either a book, a towel, I don't mind. All right. Place your two heels on. From there, interlock your hand, place it behind your head, and pull your elbows back. Then imagine you were sitting on a chair, push your bum back, down, and up. You're gonna do that 20 times, okay? Up and down, all right? Second exercise you're gonna do is push-ups, all right? So when you're doing your push-ups, just make sure your elbows don't flare out too high, or they're not extremely close. You wanna have them slightly out, so you have a nice triangle from your head, all right? So, hands underneath your shoulders, Feet in line, and then from there, chest to ground, and drive straight back up, okay? Now, if you wanna make that easier, just grab your pillow, place it underneath your knees, your hips come forward, and you're gonna drop your chest towards the ground. Or, what you could do is do it from an elevated surface, like the couch or a chair, all right? Last exercise for your core, you're gonna do five reps of a straight leg sit up. So, two hands up in the air, thinking about touching the, uh, the ceiling with my fingertips, drive it up, touch, and back down. All right, so one thing you need to do when you're doing this is have a copy book or something that you can write how many rounds you're gonna do, okay? Because we're gonna do an AMRAP, and it's gonna be a seven minute AMRAP, okay? So as many rounds as possible within them seven minutes. All right, so we'll give you about 15 seconds and we're gonna go straight in, okay? So set yourself up for your squats, 10 seconds, 20 squats, 10 push-ups, five uh, sit-ups, Straight leg sit up, and we're gonna do that for a constant seven minutes. All ready, going in five, four, three, two, one, and we're squatting 20 times, up and down. Three. Count your own reps. Wow. Keep your elbows pulled back. It's gonna keep your upper back nice and tight. And we're focusing on your technique with this. Good, once you're in your squats, you're gonna go into your push-up then. Okay, so hands underneath your shoulders, straight in. Okay, 10 reps, chest to ground, and drive straight back up. Swing for your bum. Core switched on. It's gonna keep your back nice and tight. Once you've done 10, flip over onto your back. Legs go straight. You're gonna go up to the ceiling. We are one minute, 20 seconds in. Good, first round done. Constantly go, all right? So, if you have the tenor paper, write it down, tick it off, one round done, straight into your second round. We are one minute 45 in. Just make sure with your squat, your knees don't cave in, you're constantly driving them out, okay? Applying. Good amount of force into the ground when you're coming up. Nice and controlled down, drive up. Keep it at a steady pace. Don't want to go too fast with this seven minutes. Don't want to blow up too early. You can always build up the pace the last couple of rounds, the last couple of minutes, I should say. We are on two minutes 40. 
Okay, onto your push-ups after you do your squats. You might be going a little bit faster than me, but if you're looking for some technique, have a look in. Straight leg into your sit-ups then. If you're following along with me, I'm taking it at a steady pace. You want to keep your feet on the ground, especially calm when you're doing these. Good, and we're halfway. Okay, that's two rounds done for myself. We're gonna go back into your squats. I'm just gonna write it down so I remember. You definitely feel it in your legs now, on your shoulders. Core feels okay. Come on, we're nearly there. Last three minutes. You can get a round or two in. Definitely feel me quads now. Getting jelly legged. So this is when I'm gonna start focusing on my technique. Okay, I'm not gonna rush through these. I'm gonna get them done. Push-ups. I can go nice and fast with these. One, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, ready there. Last, less than two minutes. One, two, three. Okay, legs, we're on fire. Coming into your last 90 seconds. So straight on, have a look at my knees, driven out. Keep going. Definitely a bit of a burn now. Nearly at 45 seconds. Come on, push yourself. Last one, come on. Okay. Less than 30. Nine, ten. Come on, finish it off. Two, a little bit faster. Two, one, hand rest. My legs, my arms, my core's okay. Well done, folks. Make sure you write down your scores and remember what you got because we'll be retesting it now in a couple of weeks. Well done. Guys, so how to track your score. So what we're gonna do, so you did 20 squats, 10 push-ups, and then five um, sit-ups, or straight leg sit-ups, okay? So that equates to 35 reps, all right? I got four rounds, so one, two, three, four, plus my seven squats that you finished on, okay? So 4.1. So it's gonna be four multiplied by 35 
who's good at maths, um, said it's 140, okay? And then I got um, plus seven onto that. This is the easy stuff, is 147 is my finishing score, okay? Does that make sense? So take the next minute or so to calculate, or calculate your own score. Please say you didn't beat me.